Charles Steve from 200 Stabbings real quick after the show with Soulfly. Man, just talk about your band. Do you guys seem like you're – there's a groundswell of death metal support for you guys. Do you feel that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we definitely feel it. Uh, it all kind of started even before we started playing shows. I mean, like, we played our first show in July of last year, so it hasn't even been a full year yet. And uh, we felt it before that for sure. And every time we play a show, we, we see more and more, you know, and we see it grow. So. You're still a relatively young band. Oh, yeah. We've only been a band for two years, but we've only been playing live shows for six months. How, how do you feel that gr the growth seems like you guys, just just a perfect combination of guys up there? What is it about you guys? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, I think I think uh, for like when we came out, it was the perfect time because, you know, pandemic hit. People were bored in the house. They didn't know what to do. You know, and then you come out with a band called 200 Stab Wounds. You have no choice but to click on it. You know what I mean? And then I think as far as like the live show goes, I think we're just sick live, you know, and I think people will talk about that, you know. Was that name an attention grabber? How'd you come up with it? Uh, no, I didn't come up with it. Uh, our guitar player and actually our sound guy came up with it like mm -hmm. years ago. And it was supposed to just be a song name for our old band, mm -hmm. but we never ended up using it. So when I started writing songs for 200 Stab Wounds, I had reached out to the guys in the band and I was like, hey, do you guys maybe want to play with me in this project? And they were like, yeah, let's do it. We started jamming and then I uh, had mentioned that name again. I was like, yo, 200 Stab Wounds. We should use that. That's heavy as fuck, you know. And that's kind of where it came from. So no, no, really, uh, no real um, meaning behind it. It's just hard. It's it's catchy though. People have caught on to right, it. It's, it's right. catchy. So touring with Soulfly. Right. How long have you been a Soulfly fan? Oh uh, well, I mean, I didn't really honestly like. I knew a couple songs by them. I knew Prophecy, obviously, like the big ones, the hits, Jump the Fuck Up, all that. But I was never really like a Soulfly fan. I was more obviously like a Max fan, Sepultura fan, and that's why I knew about Soulfly. But when we when we started playing shows with them, I actually watched them and I was like, okay, they're actually really fucking good. And then, you know, in between the, the shows, like on the drives, I would just deep dive into their fucking discography and I was like, okay, this is this is good shit, so. And you're up there playing a song with Max. Yeah, yeah. How's that like, what's that like for you? It's fucking insane. It's crazy. Uh, he, he brought that up to us about two or three days ago, or probably about a week ago. And he, we were just, kind of bullshit and he was like hey we should all do a jam together and we're like oh fuck he was like well what song though because if we're doing some crazy shit then I don't, I don't want to get up there and butcher it and he's like nah man let's just have fun blah blah and we threw a couple ideas back and forth about what songs we were going to do and then we came up with the uh the Hebrew song the cannibal book song and it's been great it feels it still feels like it's like a mind fuck so we welcome 200 stab ones to jam with soulfly right now are you ready This is our good friend Steve. He sings for 200 stab wounds. Make some noise, motherfucker! That's our brother Owen. Make some noise for Owen right now! Whoa! Who's going back to go? Fuster? Oh shit. All right, Mike. Mike, announce the way uh, the way you're supposed to announce. <laughs> Strips, rage, and fucking strangers. So we're going to see Cannibal in a couple of weeks. We've seen Lorna Shore here, Knock Loose here. What's the state of metal for you? I know that for, for those those of us deep in it, it's thriving. How do you see the state of metal right now? Oh, it's great. I mean, I think it's, I mean, like I said to, the, to a guy earlier, we weren't around like in the early 90s when the shit first started really mm -hmm. coming up. 
but from what I do see and like when I watch videos and interviews and just stuff like that, documentaries, mm -hmm. I feel like it's just as healthy now, if not better than it was back then. There's more bands. It's way more accessible to get to bands and listen to bands and find out about bands. You know, the shows happen all the time. So I think it's really healthy. I think it's cool. For those not yet in tune or stab wounds, why should people be listening to you guys? Uh, I think if you like uh, death metal, you would be a fan and you should listen to it. I think if you're into grooves, you would like it and you would really listen to it. If you like high energy shit, you'll be into it. I think if you like heavy as fuck shit, you'll be into it. And I think everyone should listen to it. But if you don't, 